July 6, 2010. From the Lord our God and Savior, the word of the Lord spoken to Timothy for all those who have ears to hear. Depart from me. Thus says the Lord, my people have forsaken me. The churches of men have departed from me. They have gone astray. They have been drawn far asunder, polluting my name without ceasing. Behold, even those among the called of Israel have turned from me and cover their ears. Therefore must I also forsake them when the trumpet sounds, turning my face from them when the shout is made. Behold, I have sent my messengers to every land, one from every nation, each being sent to the people of their own land, even from the midst of them. Yet I hear no answer, no wailing has entered my ears. Not one has come out in mourning. I hear no repentance at all. Only filthiness comes forth, corrupt doctrines and detestable traditions polluting my name and the Messiah's. Great perversions of speech to uphold their own way. Desecration as has never been seen. And though they do indeed have a form of godliness, they continually deny the power thereof. The churches of men are unclean. Every synagogue is void and desolate. My people have forgotten me. Neither do I dwell among them. My spirit is far removed. Therefore the desolate shall receive the, the reward of their error, and the heathen the penalty of their idolatries. Behold, the churches of men shall also receive recompense for every act of adultery which they have committed before my face. Yes, according to every filthy act which they have performed in my name, shall it be accounted to them. Dissolute children, why do you rend the heart of God and fill the Holy One with tears and heavy sorrows? Am I not your God? Did I not purchase you at a great price? When did I withhold my heart from you? At what moment did I turn back or stop to consider if you would receive me? When I delivered up myself for you, pouring out my love in rivers of blood, Beloved, I poured out my life so you may partake of me fully, that you may receive of my life. Yet you want no part with me as I truly am. Therefore, with great heaviness of heart, I declare to you, I am no more your God, and you have ceased from being my people. For the true salvation which is revealed in me remains hidden from your eyes. Did you think the Most High was subject to your conditions? Did you think the Holy One of Israel could be transformed into an image more to your liking? Did you presume in your arrogance to think the ways of the Lord God Almighty were subject to men? And are my prophets now subject to you? Foolish people, wicked and slothful generation, you know neither me nor my word. For the ways of the beloved you have not known, and his glory remains hidden from you. And though his grace is shed abroad, it remains far from you. Neither have I beheld his form among you. Therefore have you come out to fight against me in your pride. And with a mouth of arrogance you speak blasphemies before my face, day and night, standing fast in your bitter ignorance. And so I have called for a witness against you, says the Lord of power and glory. He who was and is and shall be the everlasting, who is from everlasting to everlasting. Amen. Thus says the Lord whose name is one to his people who are not his people. Thus is the witness which I declare against you, which I speak by myself of myself in my own name. I never knew you. Depart from me. Depart, all you workers of hypocrisy and lawlessness. Depart into the furnace, into refinement and death, the great and terrible day of the Lord. For the lake of my burning heart is a consuming fire, 
and in the heat of my jealousy, I shall purify my people seven times until only that which bears my likeness remains. The refined lifted up, the wicked consumed, destruction of every kind of evil. For I am the Lord who was and is even from the beginning and to the end and forever after I remain. Therefore, thus declares the Lord to all peoples of the earth, there shall not be another generation which shall grow up out of the kingdoms of men. For the kingdoms of men are finished never to rise again. <laughs>